cut down two trees for the stairs. To have like the whole lower plot connected to each other, removable without harm to the land that's there. 30 meters of height and diameter of 80 centimeters. It's really like, mm -hmm. like a big grown Brown old tree. tree. 30 meters, yeah. It's a big one. Something that we don't have on the land. No, no, no. Sustainability aspect <coughs> regarding the wooden stairs versus the concrete and stone stairs. Yeah, isn't easy to, to navigate, I think, because like um, we can't really control where the wood is coming from and what's the and how, how it's how it's harvested. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, like we know how cement is produced, like um, which. CO2 emissions um, arise from that, mm -hmm. um, but even more like how it feels to put it on the land and how it probably contaminates the soil. I get this feeling of like putting your tents there temporarily and removing it when it wants to be removed instead of like the putting putting the concrete there feels yeah. like like a really big impact on the land. Um, that's probably that's definitely like toxic for the earth yeah. and at the same time. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we need to do massive, massive changes to the, to the, yeah. to the land if we do that. Um, and that's why it doesn't really feel, mm -hmm. feel like a good option. That's While you were talking, I had this image of um, if we do the wooden stairs and the... Are they, are they called earth screw? Earth screw, earth Gra earth ground screw, screw earth screw, 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 mm -hmm. screw found foundations, something like that. If we do that, together with the semi-permanent um, bamboo platforms and the tents, we are still uh, guests. Yeah. And we can leave when it's not no longer right for yeah. us to be there. Yeah. And if we put the concrete there, like we can leave, but we cannot mm. take all our stuff with us. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, we could destroy it, like um, we could um, hammer it down and then um, try to remove everything, but the land is like... Altered completely, yeah. Is altered completely and yeah. is really impacted by, by what, 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 yeah. what has been done there. Of course, it's like double the price. It's double the price. It's and we don't price. know. Like, I have the feeling that probably how the wood is harvested um, like not probably very likely how the wood was harvested there was yeah. so, there was caused certain damage in Borneo definitely um, and at the same time how the material for the for the concrete uh, uh, were like harvested there was caused damage too I, we don't yeah. know where yeah. somewhere in Indonesia yeah. I don't know yeah and the production process that's what what's what's um, causing a lot of damage like how cement is is done mm -hmm. in this huge huge um, huge factories um, by using uh, chemicals and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Huge amounts of water. Yeah. Like those are both options. And the health of the workers. Health too. of the workers. Yeah. yeah. Like mm. those are like two things that are really hard to navigate if yeah. you're not working inside these factories and know what's going on there yeah. or harvesting like the trees. Um, if you don't see that, yeah. it's like really hard to decide. One thing is for sure, like no matter what you are doing, you cause certain damage. Even if we just put our tent on the grass, we cause damage to, I don't know, the insects that are living yeah. there because like, I don't know, we step on a frog or like something like that. We, we, and and it's, it's not our, it's not our um, task to not cause any damage, but to cause the least amount of damage yeah. for the biggest amount of upside that we can, that we can bring. Yeah. I think it's about this. Yeah. This ratio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And on an energetic level, I think it does something to people walking every day up and down the concrete stairs versus the wood wooden stairs. I think so too. Yeah. Like for me, it feels like an option that's li like not not re not an option that's like really that I really would like to do. Like like yeah. putting putting all the concrete there and so on. Yeah. Even if like the screen foundations take more take more um, 
CO2 emissions, like produce more more CO2. At it's, the same it's time, three times the amount, right? Initial initially. Yeah, it's three times the amount. But we have this super long lifespan. We can take it with us. We can build something else out of it. We can. Yeah, and the concrete is when it's no longer when it's not no longer the right setup because we realize whatever. Yeah. We cannot move it. And yeah. Now we can move it. It feels like investing more, like both financially as well as impact-wise, upfront yeah. to have a to have a lot less like burden to carry for the planet and f for us and for everybody involved in the long run. Yeah. And I think since we want to do long-term decisions, it makes sense to to do that. Mm. What equals 14 cubics of wood? Like that would be one or two huge trees, right? Yeah. yeah. Two major two. trees. 1.5. Yeah. To build the stairs. Yeah. Cut down two trees for the stairs. To have like the whole lower plot connected to each other, removable without harm to the land that's there. 30 meters of height and diameter of 80 centimeters. That's, that's, that's a lot. Ah, no, diameter of 60 to 120, yeah, around 80, 80, 90. No, but it's a big one, like it's really like, mm -hmm. like a big grown Drop old tree. tree. 30 meters, yeah. It's a big one. Something that we don't have on the land. No, no, no. And, and 30 to 50 meters high, imagine how big that is. Yeah. That's huge. What if we could, um, not just here on our land, but support growing back those trees in the area where they were in Borneo, where yeah, they were coming that, that's from. That's what I was thinking about. Like if, if there are like organizations in Borneo that are trustworthy. Yeah. That are like Yeah. Yeah, doing this feels like an possible option. It's like way better than using concrete. One more thing that crossed my mind is that to me, if I, if I close my eyes and if I imagine having this wooden mm -hmm. stairs, yeah. I would, knowing that like two mature trees went into it, I would walk these stairs yeah. with a lot of gratitude yeah. and with a lot of love. Mm. And I could not do the same when we build it from concrete, right. even though there was a sacrifice yeah, that yeah. went into it too. Yeah, it would feel more like. Ugh. Yeah, that's the same thought I I was thinking about like one minute be or <laughs> like seconds before you you, <laughs> you you told it. Yeah, I think like that the, the spirit of this tree would like live in mm -hmm. the stairs. Mm -hmm. And with the concrete, it just feels like oh, it feels like destruction. It, it feels, feels like, like destruction. Um, and the thing is like we are not in this journey only for the here and now like i see this whole process right now as a part of our learning curve yeah. so that with the next or the third level of expansion of custodia we can come even closer to like oh this is how we could build it this is what like yeah like it feels like the this feels like the worst decision we will make yeah. and every decision will get better and better and better yeah, it will and um, so I see this as like a like a door opener, not something that needs to be perfect in the here and now, but yeah. something that I don't know over the next 20, 50, 100 years needs to be yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a good thing. Maybe for the next step to uh, visit Borneo first and uh, uh, and and check out I don't know five different. Um, yeah. suppliers and see yeah. the conditions yeah. of the workers and uh, like how yeah. the reforestation is going and everything yeah. and to even reduce the harm we are taking uh, we are we are causing over time while at the yeah. same time since we are developing our 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 knowledge and our like skills slowly reducing the harm and slowly up leveling the um, the um, the value we, we can bring to yeah. like the whole the whole ecosystem, not just our land. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Okay, so what's our decision? Wow, that so was a good exploration. Thank you yeah. for that.
Thank you. Good. Let's order the wood. Wow. Let's order the wood. 14 cubic tons. That's that feels like a big step. <laughs> it feels mm. like a next, uh, the next surrender experiment moment because like we already had the setup ready and we just pounded on the EcoCrete guy to um, yeah. to, like that. To, to bring what we thought and like then we were ready to go. Yeah. And through this not being possible because they didn't have the eco-friendly um, option besides the blocks. This yeah. option of doing wooden stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And became an option. And and at the same time, like this whole wooden, these thoughts about the wooden stairs and so on, and screwing foundations, arised through Dennis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dennis, yeah. like ah. like two minutes yeah. where he like. Showed shit, it to us completely shit. randomly, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Um, and like and the call. because oh after God. that, like yeah. even like the call does didn't feel like too powerful for me because like yeah. it was it wasn't yeah. many people there and yeah, like yeah. there were like new things coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this this no fucking way. planted so thought yeah, like yeah, yeah. completely changed <laughs> how we how we how how we built the stairs. Yeah, and like how we. Because no, nobody else land. could come up with this option, like no, like Adi or like none of the no. Bali guys. It's like, okay, here's a viable option. Yeah, and even like yesterday, it was for, like I asked yeah. Adi one no, really crazy do. question. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what yeah. would it be like if we would do the wooden stairs? And he was immediately like, like uh, don't do it. And then, okay, please calculate it. So, and at max, 20 centimeters lifted above the soil, mm -hmm. but at least... Minimum 10. 10. Yeah. So the water can flow. Yeah. All right, we've made a decision. The wood stairs, it will be. <laughs> quite, a, quite an intense process and a beautiful one. Making decisions with all its implications in mind or, because that's not possible, with as many, informa with as many implications as you can grasp in mind. This is how any custodian makes decisions. Embracing the whole complexity instead of just thinking, okay, what's the easiest? What's the cheapest? What is the nicest? Just like having all that in mind. And this is true for almost every decision we make. Yeah, I'm currently in the process of getting my own scooter. Currently I'm already, I'm, I'm always renting one, which is not only financially not <laughs> not sensible probably over the past years I already paid for like three or four scooters and at the same time like it's a part of settling too and I'm in this topic since six weeks <laughs> for a long long time I've been comp comparing and researching and taking that much time for decisions that are really profound is is important and at the same time it challenges our lazy brains that look for shortcuts <laughs> It's quite a stretch. It's like going to the gym for our mental capacity. We really would like to have the mm, like the distance from the soil to the to the surface mm -hmm. shouldn't be more than twenty centimeters. Is that possible? Like not very high, so that it's still safe, even if child like. Yeah, because you said because you said the the screw is only hundred twenty. Oh, it can be like 160 deep. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sure. Yeah. Yeah. We, we try to find that, but they're like, they, they could be 160 deep. Mm -mm -mm. Like really yeah. deep. Six feet Post or possible. so. Possible. <sighs> Friends, I just had four Custodia Lab application calls in a row. The group is complete. We are. Let me check. Fourteen powerful custodians. Wow, this will be by far the most potent container I ever hosted. Like the quality is insane. And something that for me personally is very meaningful. Out of our 14 custodians, there are eight men and six women. Why is this meaningful to me? 
because since I started on my entrepreneurship coaching journey 2013, 11 years ago, with everything that I hosted, with every topic that I put out there into the world, be it in the beginning, raw ve the, switching to a raw vegan diet, then it was personal development, it was conscious business coaching, it was spirituality, it was community building, it was like, like with everything that I put out there, there were always, period, more women, always. Which is beautiful, which is beautiful. I sense that, like, there's so many open-minded, innovative, creative women who are going for change in the world. But there was always this part inside myself that was like, oh, why aren't there more men? I'd love to work more with men. Manifested. So exciting. Shout out to Tom, to Ed, to Raphael, to Dennis, to Max, to Florian, to David, and to Basti. Powerful masculine force. <laughs> this container is going to start now. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to open the Telegram group. Then we are on this journey. Open ended deepening our embodiment of what we wish to see in the world and working on meaningful projects together and by ourselves. I will be leading this group. It's a huge honor. And since we are already in the mood of celebration, there's something else that I'd love to celebrate with you. This is my book, Gaia's Custodians. You probably already downloaded it. If not, it's a gift. And today marks the moment where this is out there in the world for six months. We have our half year anniversary of Gaia's Custodians. <laughs> six months ago, I put this piece of sacred work out into the world and since then, it impacted exactly the right people. I have so many conversations with people who say like, Robert, I read your book and this started X, Y, Z inside myself. I'm on the same journey. Even though it didn't reach millions yet, it probably never will. The topics that we're exploring are not mainstream, <laughs> far away from mainstream, but it has reached the right people. And I'm grateful for that. And still, I want to reach more of the right people. So, that's your invitation. If you haven't downloaded it, it's a gift. There's no paywall. You can just download it and then sense what you want to contribute later on. We are exploring many, many, many topics that are really important. And at the same time, it's a beautiful piece of art, visually created by my brother. There are not a lot of things I'm more proud of this book so if you have downloaded it do it it's the single piece that I created that is out there that brings like everything together that's present for me right now all the topics yeah the state of the world our individual journeys childbirth Community living, entrepreneurship, spirituality, like everything. Everything is coming together in this piece. If you're looking for a book that is unlike other books, you will like it. <laughs> and if you already read it, please, in the description of this video is the link. Copy this link and send it to one person that you know personally via WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, email whatever, one person of whom you think could benefit from this book. Thank you. <laughs>